So to move toward the life that God has planned for us, we have to grow in our relationship with Him. And part of growing in our relationship with Him is devoting time each and every day to read and reflect on God's Word. So in this Devo, let's look at a great way to do that. So in Joshua 1.8, it reads, Ponder and meditate on it day and night. Make sure you practice everything written in it. Then you'll get where you're going. Then you'll succeed. So there are numerous places throughout the Bible that encourage us to read and reflect, to ponder and meditate on God's Word. The problem is, is there are so many things that distract us or excuses that we make that get in the way of that. So the key to it is to keep it simple. I was introduced to this method a long time ago by a good friend of mine who I worked with at the time. And his church created what they call a soap journal and we started on our lunchtime, we started doing these soap journals. And it totally changed the way that I read and studied and reflected and learned the Bible. And today, I wanna to show you that process. So the first thing you're gonna do is write down the scripture you're studying. Now this could be one verse or it could be several. Writing it down helps you focus on each word individually as well as the scripture as a whole. And it helps you to remember it as well. So the next step is observations. This is where you examine and write down what you notice about the scripture. What stands out to you? Who's it written by? Who's it written to? What's interesting or what's unusual about the scripture? A lot of times it helps to read what comes before the scripture and what comes after the scripture. Also, you wanna look for repetition or contrast or comparison. So after observations comes application. And this is where you make it personal. This is where you ask yourself, how can I apply what I just learned in a practical way? Is there a specific action that you need to do? Or maybe it's even a confession you need to make. In any case, again, remember to keep it simple. So start off small, something easy you can do, and then you can grow from there. And the last part of this process is prayer. This is where we acknowledge God for who he is and what he's done in our life, where we ask him to transform our hearts and our lives through his Holy Spirit so that we can live out his word. And it's where we thank him for his word and his love in our life. So there you have it. That is the SOAP method of studying God's Word. So as a Christian, it is critical that we read, reflect, and respond to God's Word every day. It gives us God's perspective. It deepens our connection with God. It increases our faith in His faithfulness. It gives us an opportunity to hear what God wants for us and from us individually. It will guide us on where we're going and help us succeed. It literally can and will change yours and my life for the better. I hope you enjoyed today's Devo. I'll see you next time. Bye.